Brent Maggot, whose company conducted this survey, is with us now from Minneapolis. Brent, it's good to see you. Thank you. Uh, were you guys surprised when you got these results? I was very surprised. Um, I think that, you know, what we're seeing here, though, is uh, what's at America's doorstep. When you think about it, there are millions of Americans who every day when they open up their front door, what they are worried about is violent crime. Who knows where it might be uh, and when it might happen, but they know it's happening a lot and all over the place and in a very random way. And so, you know, their United States and what they see as the biggest threat to their country is violent crime. It's not China, it's not Russia, because they can't see that from their front doorstep. So how much of this, and I ask this advisingly because I, I'm sitting here and I don't know the, the answer, how much of this is the media's fault? Because I think about big cities and even small cities. I used to be a local news reporter. You guys consult a lot of local news stations that you can put something on the news that happened in downtown Washington, D.C., people way out uh, an hour away in Virginia see that, it's never going to come to the suburbs. But are those the people who are scared by this, or is it the people living inside the cities? It's the people living inside the cities. In fact, you you just flashed the number in terms of the number of Asians, um, African Americans, who uh, see this as clearly the number one issue, far more than the general population. But even more so, when you dig in, we're talking about urban multicultural communities who see this as far and away the biggest threat to the country. So the people who are kind of most affected and in the most crime ridden parts of the country are the ones who are, in fact, saying this is the biggest threat to our livelihoods. It's really fascinating. How political and how divided is America? I know that the survey found the number two threat, I think, was Democrats. The number four threat was Republicans. Does that show that we are we are really divided, or is it far enough down the list that crime is just out and out the, the biggest thing? Well, you're bringing up a great point. I think this is one of the things that was perhaps most fascinating in the study is uh, you know, I think it was Warren Buffett who a couple of weeks ago at the Berkshire annual meeting said that the country has really become quite tribal. And I think that's really what we're seeing here, where you have, as you mentioned, the second and fourth most mentioned threats to the country, Democrats and then Republicans in that order, um, are, you know, as high as they are. But what you're seeing is people who strongly affiliate with these political groups believe that their party is is not the threat, but the other one really is, and vice versa. And what's yeah. even more interesting is that you're talking about groups of people here. You're not really talking about issues. And so it's really pointing the finger at the other side. And I think this is evident even in the video clips that you just shared about from the president and, uh, and Rick Scott. Yeah, neither talking about the issue that most Americans say they're most worried about. Brent, fascinating, fascinating data. Thanks for sharing it with us. We'll have you back. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.